Hi, this is Tapcat, and today I want to help you kill the hag in Darkest Dungeon. Like most bosses, she can easily ruin your day if you don't have the right strategy, but if you'll give me the next seven minutes, I'll tell you all you need to know to take her out for good. The Hag is the first boss unlocked in the Weald, and like all Darkest Dungeon bosses, you'll face different versions of her on each of the three difficulty levels, Apprentice, Veteran, and Champion. On paper, her stats are fairly average, and she isn't all that intimidating. Her health is 66 at Apprentice and only goes as high as 135 at Champion. She has relatively modest dodge, which caps out at 27.5% at Champion, and she has no protection at all. She does have good blight resistance, but is vulnerable to bleed, although I would recommend a trinket to boost bleed skill at champion difficulty if you want it to work reliably. So to sum that up, this is a boss who doesn't have a ton of health, doesn't mitigate incoming damage, and is vulnerable to bleed. If you're thinking that this all sounds a little too good to be true, then give yourself a gold star while I run down the strengths that can make her a royal pain for the unprepared. When the fight starts, the hag will always occupy the third and fourth rank, and her pot will be in ranks one and two. They're both highly resistant to move skills, so we need characters who can target those back ranks each turn. Her first attack in every encounter will be to scoop up one of your heroes and throw them into her cooking pot. That poor unfortunate soul will take damage with every action that both you and the hag take. Depending on the character's health, they'll probably be at death's door within just a few turns. And at that time, the pot will tip over freeing them. So the good news is that you get your hero back. But the bad news is that they will be at death's door and extremely vulnerable until you can heal them. And with her next action, the hag will scoop up one of your other characters, throw them into the pot, and start the process all over again. And by the way, this does help explain why her health is relatively low, because you'll virtually never have a turn where all of your heroes can attack, and she can easily neutralize even your heaviest hitter by throwing them in the pot. Of course, the cooking pot isn't her only weapon, so let's talk about the three attacks she uses while she's boiling your favorite hellion to death. Meat Tenderizer is an attack that does a small amount of physical damage to every member of your party. Most of the time, you can heal through this with no problem. But if she uses it right after someone comes out of the pot with zero health, you can pretty well count on a check to see if it's a death blow. This attack also has an unusually high chance to crit, so there's a decent chance that multiple party members will take stress as well. And that stress can really add up, because both of her other attacks are guaranteed to do stress damage if they land. Season to Perfection will debuff the accuracy and damage of one of your heroes, as well as cause 10 stress. And there's also a token amount of physical damage, but with no chance to crit, this is really only dangerous to someone who is at death's door. And lastly, Taste the Stew will cause 10 stress damage to one of your party while also healing her. So in summary, the pot is her main source of physical damage, and her active abilities can trigger stress on your party at a rapid clip. Two of the three also have a chance to trigger a death blow on a hero who just got out of the cooking pot. Now the first rule of fighting the hag is to ignore the pot and focus all of your attacks on her. Yes, you can hit the pot once she puts someone in it, and you'll even be able to knock it over relatively quickly. But then she'll immediately pick up somebody and put them in it all over again. And it might even be the same person you just rescued. So rather than watch the health of your party slowly melt away while trying to endlessly rescue people, I definitely recommend solving the core problem and take her out as quickly as possible. Once you know that, things get fairly simple. Focus on bringing party members that can attack those back to enemy ranks and hit her with all you've got. One thing to watch out for though is that she can grab any hero she wants to put in the pot, so make sure that the person in your second rank can still attack if they're moved to the front. In particular, a rank two Houndmaster could be completely neutered if the person in front of him gets scooped up and he can't attack anymore. 
When choosing a healer, I definitely recommend a Vestal over an Occultist. This is a fight where you're all but guaranteed to have someone come out of the pot at death's door and you'll need a heal as soon as possible to keep them alive. The Occultist's inherent unreliability on that front could cost you a party member because one heal for zero at the wrong time and it's game over, even if the bleed gets resisted. In the same vein, it's not a bad idea to have a secondary healer like an Arbalist or characters who can heal themselves in an emergency. This is a plus in any boss fight, but since we can't avoid someone being at death's door in the first place during this fight, we want to position ourselves to get a heal in before the hag can attack so she can't land a killing blow. The party I went with in my last campaign was Vestal, Houndmaster, Bounty Hunter, and Hellion. I tried a little experiment and used that same combo for all three fights, and we crushed her in two rounds on Apprentice, three on Veteran, and four on Champion. So that combination worked really well in the boss fight, and I highly recommend it. Healing was plentiful with not only the Vestal, but two of the other three heroes could take care of themselves in an emergency. And the Houndmaster was able to not only attack all four ranks, but take advantage of the Hag's vulnerability to bleed damage. Also, by putting him in the third rank, he was able to stress heal, which comes in especially handy if you're fighting her on champion level. The Bounty Hunter is a good damage dealer against the first three enemy ranks to begin with, but against an oversized opponent like the Hag, he can be especially dangerous. And the Hellion is another class that can not only bring the pain to all four enemy ranks, but also self-heal and stun enemies. The biggest danger with party composition for champion level bosses is that you'll be so finely tuned for that one enemy that it can be really difficult just getting there in one piece. Now this group though, it did a really good job of holding its own in the wield while we made our way toward her. Now all that said, there are certainly other party compositions you could consider and other hero classes that could be effective against the hag if you want to explore other alternatives. All right, I think that just about covers how to take down the hag. I certainly don't claim that this is the only way to do it, but it is an effective one. If you've tried a different approach that worked well, or maybe not so well, then by all means, share it in the comments section below. Now, if you made it this far, then hopefully you found this video helpful. If so, please give it a like so other people can find it too. And if you want to see more here on the channel, then by all means, hit that subscribe button. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching. I hope we see you next time.